sense to be I need to regenerate. I'm about to go off like I'm the avatar state and I can say Finally, something to talk about when it comes to Dragon Ball. You can't just expect me to ignore this. My favorite anime series of all time needs some love. We got some new stuff for the movie that can be seen as well. Kind of major. First thing, remember the movie got announced a couple months ago? Well, technically it was announced soon after the Broly movie released, but this was like, I guess, announcement part two. And when that happened, Akira Toriyama said he didn't want to reveal things about the plot yet, but he said he is heavily involved like the last movie and that there is an unexpected character in the movie. Now, unexpected implies that we've already seen the character before. I said last time when he said that how Broly was non-canon, meaning he wasn't part of the actual main Dragon Ball continuity and therefore technically didn't exist, but since he fit well into the lore of the story, it just made total sense to bring him in. And sure, we could bring in other Saiyan characters and they could fit. They wouldn't make a big impact like Broly in terms of lore though, like bringing in Turles, I guess would be something something but why? The only two non-canon characters that fit into the lore of what the story is for the movie is Lord Slug and Cooler. And if you remember last time I just said Cooler, but now I'm saying Lord Slug and that's because this movie has to do with Planet Namek according to the new revealed stuff at Comic-Con. They show a Namekian spaceship and they have put emphasis at Comic-Con on Piccolo showing where he lives and that he has now been redesigned where they've changed the color on those gaps in his arms from pink to yellow. They said the only reason was because it's more accurate to what Toriyama wants because of his color in the manga. So I'm pretty sure there will be no explanation in the movie. It will be like how Trunks randomly had his hair color changed and none of the characters acted like that was different. They all just pretended like, oh yeah, his hair's always been blue, right? Although Trunks' hair was the same color in the anime as in the manga, so this is different. This one is actually Piccolo changing to what he is in the manga. Yeah, colors don't make much sense anymore. But I doubt it's Lord Slug. I said in my last video that it was probably cooler Frieza's brother and considering how many people also made videos after that saying they thought so too, this unexpected character is becoming pretty expected. At Comic-Con they specifically say that Frieza has been playing a larger part in Dragon Ball Super movies with Resurrection F and Broly but they say his existence in this movie is more important than those two and for me that puts more evidence for Cooler to appear in this movie because Cooler, like Broly, fits perfectly into the lore of the story. People have mentioned other random non-canon movie characters or even future characters like Oob, but almost every single movie character is irrelevant to the lore of Dragon Ball. And well, Oob, he uh, that doesn't make any sense. After Broly, the one who has the most relevance is Cooler, and the fact that Frieza is extremely important in this movie would make perfect sense if his brother was in it. We also get a look at a new character that we have no idea anything about. They simply just showed the design for him. He's definitely a soldier though, and I think a good guy. I think. They also show that Pan is now in kindergarten. And yet, I bet you Goten and Trunks, even though they are teenagers and should look the way Trunks did in the History of Trunks special, probably still look like they are 7 and 8 years old. Which is really weird because they're gonna look close to Pan's age. I hope they have actually aged physically, but I also hope they don't just have a random skip to how they look at the end of Dragon Ball Z. I want them to look like how Trunks did in the special. That's the age they should look because that's what they are. At Comic-Con, the question was also asked if seeing Pan means she's important. And they say, absolutely. But I wouldn't read too much into that because how important could Pan at this time be to the entire story of the movie? The movie is also called Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Not the title anyone expected, especially since Toriyama wanted Goku not to be seen as a superhero in Super. That's why his character sort of changed from what we've always seen in his demeanor. And plus, in the Tournament of Power, he literally says he's not a hero of justice. And in the fight with Seventeen, we get him talking about that again. But that scene makes no sense at all because we know Goku has worked many times to save people. And there he acts like it was just something that happened because he wanted to fight strong people, which is just totally untrue. 
he did not go to Namek to fight Frieza because he thought he was strong. He fought Frieza because Frieza was freaking evil. But we don't really know what the superhero title means. All we have for the release date is that it will release in 2022, so next year. So that's when we're gonna see. I wanna thank you guys for watching today's video, and I would appreciate it if you guys left a like before you go. My name's Konchik, and I'll talk to you in the next video. And also, love you. Bye. And I can say that I'm great, yeah, I can say that I'm perfect. I ain't the one that was out here saving lives, I was purchased. Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic. I'ma send you straight up to my main man, Conjit. Conjit, Conjit.